The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Zamfara, Dauda Lawal, says he will settle all outstanding tuition fees of indigents studying on scholarship across the globe if elected governor. He says security, health, education and agriculture will be the priority of his administration for the state to compete with other states. Theophilus Darufai has details. Gumi local government comes alive as the People's Democratic Party entering to the area. Thousands of party faithfuls, supporters and well-wishers come out in large numbers to receive the campaign train led by its governorship candidate Dauda Lawal and other party chieftains. <laughs> they were also received by communities along Anka, Bukuim and Gumi Road. Addressing the Mahmoud crowd, the zone for a PDP governorship candidate says if elected, he will prioritize security, education, healthcare, empowerment, economy, agriculture and food security. <laughs> The governorship hopeful promises to settle outstanding tuition fees of the for indigenous studying abroad, which he says the present administration failed to pay. I will ensure that no Zamfara indigenous studying abroad is embarrassed again over non payment of tuition fee by the state government, as it is the case of our students currently on scholarship in Nigeria and abroad. He also promised to reconstruct the Bardoki and Kuali bridges destroyed by floods, which connect many communities. The PDP insists it has all it takes to bring the desired change in Zamfara. I will reconstruct the Bardoki and Kuali bridges, which were destroyed by flood, and the present administration did not see the need to fix it for the communities affected. PDP is the only party that will restore peace and development in Zamfara. So, vote massively for us. The PDP campaign train will continue to visit other local government areas seeking for votes ahead of February and March elections. Safe less, Darufai. TVC News, Gusau.